you got your 401ks and stuff, guys. You got your 401ks, okay? When you're younger, you could put your money into more high-risk mutual funds, more high-risk investments, things of that nature. When you get old, you got to put that stuff into the lowest possible risk stuff, right? It's a very sound investment strategy. When you're young, you could have wins, you could have losses, but you can make up for your losses. When you get to the point where you're old, you're not going to be able to recoup, right? You're not going to be able to make up a big loss at the end, right? So, you know, conventional wisdom tells you to keep your stuff lower risk, right? So if you have the ability to go in, do this particular deal, and you're okay to take on that risk, you're okay to make a curb offer, right? You're okay to drive by the property, look at as much as you possibly can from the sidewalk in the street, and assess the condition of the property, you could score a potentially good deal. Don't ask me any follow-up questions on it. I don't have the info. I'm not going to be able to get the info. This is the info. This is the open, honest, transparent way to let you know what you're doing here. You're trying to score a potentially a property that's potentially worth about 80. You're trying to score it for 49.9. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't want to be giving it to you straight. Sometimes people ask me, they're like, hey man, how can I get a turnkey property but buy it with equity, right? I want to buy a turnkey deal. I want to get some equity when I buy it, right? And as soon as I hear that, I know those people, uh, they're brand new to the game. They don't understand anything, right? Likewise, when I hear people say, hey, we're selling turnkey properties, right? Come, we're a turnkey company. This is what we do. We, we are a turnkey company and we sell turnkey properties to investors with equity, right? When I hear people say that, I know that's a slime ball turnkey company, okay? Right? Buyers who are looking for turnkey with equity, they're noobs, they're fish, they're guppies. They don't know what the fuck's going on. Turnkey companies that present themselves as companies that sell their properties with equity. They're slime balls, skis bags, used car salesmen, man. That's what that mentality is, right? Because it doesn't make any fucking sense, all right? It doesn't make any fucking sense. If you are a turnkey company, you know what you're doing. You have built up a business where you buy distressed assets at a discount. You add value to them, and then you sell them at a premium because you've taken all of the hard work. You've taken on the risk. You've done all of the difficult, rough stuff, and you probably didn't even make money on every deal. You took on the risk of some deals you're losing money. So when you do sell them, you don't sell them with equity. You sell them for the most you possibly can. That's how it works, right? If I got $100, if I got a $100 bill, Tyler, I got a $100 bill. You want to buy it off me for 80 bucks? Yeah. Of course you do. But why the fuck would I sell you my $100 bill for 80 bucks? I wouldn't, right? Especially if I'm a turnkey company, I put together all that work, right? It doesn't make any goddamn sense, okay? So, with all that in mind, folks, I want to take your attention to this property. This property right here. This is the property that you got the opportunity to buy, all right? The address on this bad boy is 1102 Newberry Street, Toledo, Ohio, okay? Now, this is something that you do have the opportunity to buy at a discounted rate, okay? Arguably with equity, all right? This is a real deal where you could buy it with equity. But you have to understand, this ain't going to get wrapped up in a nice little bow for you. Totally renovated. You get a beautiful video tour. You get an inspection report. You get all the nice stuff. Everything's been wrapped up, and then you get to buy it with equity. Right now, when somebody goes through all that effort, wraps it up, folks, they're the people that took on the risk, right? What you got here? You got a situation. This is a duplex. Obviously, we probably got the chart up, I'm assuming. At some point, it's up. It's probably up right now. Tyler, put the fucking chart up, dog. They're trying to look at the numbers, man. As you see, it's 49.9, but it's a duplex, okay? We got two one-bedroom units, each of which are receiving $500 a month in rent, $1,000. Market rent, 
uh, for those units is 750, right? Easy 750. So it could be bringing in 1500. Now you don't often get to buy a duplex in Toledo for this price. Okay, it just doesn't make any sense, right? The numbers would be too good, right? But in this particular situation, you do because I am not presenting you a nice, easy, wrapped in a bow deal. Okay, truth be told. The guy that owns this seller, you know, he contacted us. He told us how he wants to sell it, what he wants to do. And we're like, well, well, shit, bro. If that's how you want to do it, most we could probably get you is 50K. He wants to sell it as is, no questions asked, curb offers only. Okay? That's it. If you notice, I don't got a video tour, right? Usually I send out the Holton Wise crew. Okay, get you inside. Give you guys as much transparency as humanly possible. We don't got that right now. I'm just showing you what Google Earth said. If you guys want to drive the neighborhood, 1102 Newberry Street, and do a drive-by of the property, right? You can see here on the Google Earth photo, this was at some point uh, he must have just evicted a tenant and did like a turn. Uh, I don't know. When's this photo from? This photo is from May 2019, right? As I talk to you guys today, it's like June 12th, 13th, something like that, 2023. But uh, at some point, he was evicting some tenants, right? Uh, he doesn't want to deal with it. He's just done. He's like, dude, I'm not dealing with my tenants. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with that. Just give me $50,000. Cash is, is no questions asked. I was like, all right, we'll see what we could do. If we were selling this property with more transparency, if we had the tenants who were actually paying the market rent, if the seller was not difficult and didn't just want a no questions asked cash offer, we would sell it for more money, okay? We'd be selling it for a lot more money. We'd probably be selling it for closer to $80,000, right? You got the opportunity to buy it for forty nine nine, but... You got to take on the risks, okay? You got to risk it for the biscuit, dog. That's why it's bullshit when turnkey companies tell you they're selling you stuff with equity. You ain't risking it for the biscuit. The turnkey company, you know what they do? They find people like this guy, right? They go into neighborhoods. They spend all the money marketing. They spend all the money finding people like this guy, right? Sellers who are distressed and just want out. People that just want to get out of it. They take on that risk of buying it at the low price. And sometimes it works out great, but sometimes they run into some unknowns. You're putting yourself in that position right now, right? He says the, uh, the tenants, they're paying rent. He says uh, one tenant has been paying for a long time. He said the other tenant gave him some issues earlier in the year, but apparently now he's current. Guess how much due diligence you get to do to see if that's true. Guess how many receipts he's willing to provide to you. Goose egg. You don't get any receipts. You got to take his word for it. Should you believe him? I don't know. I don't want to call the guy a liar. Uh, in real estate, we like to trust but verify, but you don't really have the opportunity to verify. He's not willing to do any of that. He said, hey, 49.9, no questions asked, man. 10-day close. Let's go or let's not go, right? So you got to take on that risk, right? Is the potential of this being $30,000 uh, less than what it could be? Is it worth the risk for you that he's lying, that he doesn't have his tenants paying rent, that you're going to have to evict them, that they're garbage tenants? Is that worth the risk for you, right? Don't ask me any follow-up questions on it. I don't have the info. I'm not going to be able to get the info. This is the info. This is the open, honest, transparent way to let you know what you're doing here. You're trying to score a potentially... A property is potentially worth about 80. You're trying to score for 49.9. But no risk it, no biscuit. You got to just roll the dice here, right? That's how I buy property. When I buy property, I just got to roll the dice sometimes, right? Sometimes I win, sometimes I don't win, right? It's up to you. If you think uh, that that is too risky and you're and it's crazy, great. I'm glad you think that way. Don't don't buy the property. It's it's not for you, right? Uh, but if you're you're in the game and you do this all the time and you're like, oh, oh, I looked up the comps. That is a very good price. It's worth the risk to me. If I get burned, I get burned. Then that's great. Go for it, bro. If you only have fifty thousand dollars and this is your only way to do a real estate deal, and if this thing goes sideways, you're going to be blown out of the water and your career, your business, your life as a real estate investor is over as we know it. Please don't buy this property. This would be a terrible decision for you, right? You got your 401ks and stuff, guys. You got your 401ks, okay? When you're younger, you could put your money into more high-risk mutual funds, 
more high risk investments, things of that nature. When you get old, you got to put that stuff into the lowest possible risk stuff, right? It's a very sound investment strategy. When you're young, you could have wins, you could have losses, but you can make up for your losses. When you get to the point where you're old, you're not going to be able to recoup, right? You're not going to be able to make up a big loss at the end, right? So, you know, conventional wisdom tells you to keep your stuff lower risk, right? So if you have the ability to go in, do this particular deal, and you're okay to take on that risk, you're okay to make a curb offer, right? You're okay to drive by the property, look at as much as you possibly can from the sidewalk in the street, and assess the condition of the property. You could score a potentially good deal, but upon ownership of owning it later down the road, you might you might run into some unforeseen issues. I don't know. I mean, myself, I've done 200 million deal two hundred million dollars worth of deals here in Ohio, and I, I'm comfortable going in, looking at the outside of the property, looking at the foundation from the outside. I can assess more or less how fucked up the units are going to be, right? Like worst case scenario, I'm like, oh, okay. I could put that unit back together no matter what those fuckers do for about 25K. I could put that back together for about 25K. I know how long it's going to take me to evict people if it goes sideways. I could look at the foundation from the outside and see if I see any major issues to to a reasonable level of certainty uh, that, that I believe mitigates my risks enough to do the deal or not do the deal. Am I going to be 100% right all those times? No, absolutely not, nor would you. Uh, but that is the only type of people that should be interested in this property. The type of people that want everything wrapped in a bow, y'all, you guys would be you know, good candidates for turnkey properties, but don't think that a turnkey investor who had to take on all the risk of a deal like this is giving you any equity. You ain't getting any equity. You're getting zero equity, if not negative equity, because they got to make up for all the risk they took on. But if that's something you're interested in doing and you're down to making as-is, no-questions-asked cash offer, Hey, man, $49.9. You could score some big money here, right? But it's no risk it, no biscuit. Send your proof of funds to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. When I say there will be no contingencies accepted, I mean no contingencies. We get a lot of noobs that are like, no, no inspection contingency. But then it's contingent on a walkthrough. Bro, I said as is. It is as is. I'm like, no, it's not as is. It's contingent on a walkthrough, bro. That's a contingency. No contingencies. Clear title. You get clear title. You get title insurance. That'll be the only contingency, right? Uh, you don't get to do a walkthrough at all. You just got to do the deal. You just got to do the deal, roll the dice, hope and pray, okay? If that's something that you think is risky and crazy, don't do the deal. Please don't contact us to do the deal. If you know what you're doing, you've done the research, you're a seasoned investor, You've walked the outside. Hell, I'm not telling you to do it, but maybe you knocked on the door and met the tenants and you felt them out. I didn't say to do that, okay? I didn't say to do that. But if you did do that, I'm not going to chase you down and punch you in the face or nothing. Uh, do as much due diligence as you possibly can. But just know the seller is not a willing participant and not willing to go through any effort. He just wants to dump it and be done, hence the price, right? So that's where we're at. That's what you're interested in doing. This is the most transparent way you could possibly buy a property like this, folks. Send those as is offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. We're going to want to see proof of funds, and we're going to want a non-refundable earnest money deposit. The only way you'd get it back is if a cloud on title popped up, right? Now, other other newbies in situations like this, sometimes we'll get people like, okay, that's fine, totally as is, totally as is, but they want to finance it. Bro, that would require an appraisal. We're, seller's not going through the effort of contacting his tenants. It sounds like they're not really having the best relationship. He says they're paying rent, but it doesn't sound like he wants to go through all that. So it's only going to be cash offers, right? So uh, sorry, no appraisals, right? Because again, it's literally as is, no questions asked, right? So if that's you, if you're comfortable with that, you want to go for the risk here, you want to risk it to get the biscuit, sales at holdenwise.com. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.